go beyond plus ultra What's up, Nero Nation? It's your boy Nero back at it with another My Hero Academia manga review, chapter 285, which is an amazing chapter. We got so much content in this chapter. So many different things happen. I don't know what to talk about first, man. This was an amazing chapter, man. Solid 10 out of 10, in my opinion. But before we start getting into this review, make sure you remember to uh, read the official chapter once it drops this Sunday to show Hodokoshi your love and support. With that being said, man, let's talk about this chapter, man. <laughs> let's talk about it. Yo, all for one is to be feared. Like, yo, it was a line that Hawk said in this chapter and it, it was so true. I felt the same way. I was thinking it before he even said it. Hawk said, it's not fair that this guy is de-aging, but he's still re having all of his quirks all of his quirks still remain even though he's getting younger and the younger he gets the more powerful he's able to use these quirks and it's just it's crazy it is ridiculous it's it's really making him seem like a force to be feared honestly i wonder how he truly was in his heyday like yo i'm pretty sure the government system had no choice but to obey him when you see the flashbacks of how he kind of ran japan I believe that shit after this chapter. Like, seeing what he was capable of in this chapter, I believe everything they show in the flashback. Like, this dude is a straight monster, man. A straight monster. That beam of light blast. Oh, my gosh. For him to actually be able to damage someone as big as Makia, like, yo, that just shows how much power he has. And honestly, I wonder if he died from that attack. Like, because all for one says, like, yo, I'm going to kill you like i'm gonna kill you he does that beam of light and you just see it like kind of like rip right through the half of makia and you don't see him no more for the chapter so did he die did he survive i don't know let me know in the comment section below but all i know is that's all it would have took for me as a hero to see that big giant dude get taken out so quickly to for me to be like i don't know if this hero job is for me man you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying i'm not gonna help you guys but I'm gonna be on the sidelines and I'll try to like help people that, that I can. But like far as fighting that guy, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I would turn in my hero license this very moment if you want me to take this guy on. But I don't know, seeing my Mount Lady and all the other heroes like fighting so hard, Dark Shadow, you know, Tokiyama, Tokiyami, they all doing everything they can to actually stop all for one. And I'm looking at the panels now like, yo, hold a coach, she killed the art, man. Every panel just looks straight fire, but you see them giving it their all to try to stop all for one. And you just got all for one just like smiling, like ripping through them left and right. And like, I ain't gonna lie, the panel where it looked like he's regenerating and he looks like a zombie and he actually shoots the uh, beam of light, that panel just looks so crazy, yo. Honestly, that could be a poster because he looks terrifying. Like, yo, Hodokoshi definitely needs to do a horror manga next. Like, it, like the way he draws stuff, like, you really feel fear. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyway, he says, like, yo, the younger he gets, the harder it is to control the urge. And he feels like it may be because he's closer to his original his original quirk that's within Shigaraki. But it's giving him the hunger, you know, to destroy everything. You just see him blasting people left and right. You got Tokiyami and Hawk's Hulk both fall into the ground like it, it looks bad for him it looks really bad but you just see that um off one says like the more he gets hurt and wounded the, the faster that this de-aging is accelerating which is really crazy and then you got off one saying like yo grabbing hawk by the neck which is a crazy moment in this chapter he's grabbing hawks by the neck and saying like yo step aside you did all you can do you should be proud you should be that's crazy man to get defeated by someone and then them them, them telling you you should be proud <laughs> like that's that's like insult to injury like I, I don't know i feel like that's that i really you say like yo you can't beat me or you had never had a chance say something like that but to tell me i did my best but you know what i'm saying this is all you could do like yo that's, it, it would have hurt me but you see uh off one is actually planning on taking dark shadow for himself and i wonder what's the plan for um, Dark Shadow once he take like will Dark Shadow actually obey him because Dark Shadow seems like a quirk where it actually has free will so if Dark Shadow is actually taken from Tokiyami will it actually listen for all for one or will it actually try to attack all for one 
I'm really curious about that. But the fact that Off One is actually trying to take this quirk shows how powerful Dark Shadow truly is. For anyone who hated on Dark Shadow and said they didn't really like it, this right here is proof. If the strongest person wants that quirk, it must be more powerful than we could have ever imagined. So the fact that Off One is trying to take it proves how powerful this is. And honestly, I want to know what was his purpose of trying to take it. And it also makes me wonder, like, even though Compress actually took uh, took Yami that time they were in the forest, I honestly wonder if maybe All For One actually seen it as well and said, like, yo, look out for this kid. This could be a potential uh, quirk I can take and keep an eye on him. And that's also also what made Compress actually look at him like, yo, oh, All For One was talking, spitting facts. I'm going to go ahead and snatch him up too with Bakugo. I wonder if that's the case. But it also looks like, um, it also looks like All For One takes Hawk's ability, Fierce Wings, because you see the uh, feathers actually growing out of him. So at one point you see it on his back, but then you don't see it no more. So I wonder if like he gave it back to uh, Hawk's or if Hawk Quirk truly gone. I'm really curious to hear about that. But next thing you know, you got um, Mineta walking up saying like, yo, don't take Dark Shadow. If you want to steal a quirk, take my quirk. At least you'll get a fancy hairdo. And you just got all for one looking at him like, yo, what the heck? And he thinks to himself, the screams of the weak. And Mineta is, I mean, I'm not going to say he's powerful, but I wouldn't consider him weak. Like, he doesn't have the best quirk, but like, yo, he still fights even when he's scared shitless. And that's something you gotta respect. You gotta respect it. Like, you gotta give Mineta his pride. The fact that he's even standing up to all for one right now saying like, yo, don't take my friend Quirk, take mine, just shows how brave and powerful he is as a character. And this chapter right there, right here should have just made you a fan of his character the fact that he's actually doing that and stepping up to someone who took down Machia as well as Mount Lady and countless other heroes but you see them all laid down on the ground you got all one saying like yo the press is actually coming once they see that y'all lost again what do you think that's going to do to do to the public eye they're going to start to lose, lose even more faith in you guys like they did before and it's just I don't know man it's just a really crazy chapter but then you got um Hawk saying like yo there's still help uh there's still hope you know they got other people that were supposed to come in and help and they haven't arrived yet so there's still a chance of hope because they will make it to the battlefield and i want to know who are they referring to who are going to be these renegades that's going to show up and actually try to help out and help them against the battle against all for one as well as sugar rocky i'm really curious who's going to be these heroes are, are they going to be heroes that we've heard of before or people we heard of before or are they going to be all new characters i'm really curious to know that let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below but we get to see other characters that's in the shelter as well as um Shoto's brother and sister, his mother, you know, they're high. And you also got some kids looking at everything on the news saying, like, everyone's beat up. And then you got some of the kids not losing faith. They're like, yo, that's got to be fake news. Don't listen to it. But you see, like, some of the people are starting to get worried and they're starting to get scared. And while all that's going on, you got uh, La, uh, La Brava. She's actually working to get everything back online in the shelters. And she's like, yo, some of the, some of the stuff is mis malfunctioning. And the inside, like what the heck is causing it? And you find out that off one place to spy within the um, within the within the shelter to actually, you know, take down and do whatever Skeptic told him to do. But you know, of course, Skeptic got taken out, so he's trying to figure out what can he do to prove his value to all for one, so that when all for one takes over, he will be safe. Which is just a cowardly thing to do. Honestly, I wonder who this person is. I I seen online a lot of people were saying he looks like the guy from um, Blue Lock. And he actually does. He's just missing the glasses. I don't know. I think it's hilarious, man. But you see them actually rushing to take this guy down. And you also see the return of the hero. I can't think of his name. I'm, I'm trying to think of what his actual name was. I think it was like Lockboat or something like that. But the guy, he was like in the very first episode of the anime. And he was the one who had like the boats around his arms. And uh, he was there when uh, the sludge villain attacked. But you see him actually stepping forth, catching something, um, catching uh, debris from falling on, you know, civilians. And he was like, yo, for some odd reason, my body moved um, moved on its own. Like, I didn't even have a chance to think. And I love that because it's a callback to, you know, Deku when he first became, you know, chosen by All Might. As well as a callback to Bakugo when he saved Deku. I really like the fact that they had a callback. Next thing you know, it jumps to uh, Ida and Shota. They both standing up. And then the last panel actually shows Stain looking from afar. And I really want Stain to get involved. You guys have no idea how much I love Stain as a character. Like he's probably, like he's definitely in my like top 10, top five favorite villains of all time, like out of any series. 
and just to see him showing up i honestly wonder if he's gonna fight against sugar rocky or if he's gonna fight against all for one my bet is he's probably gonna fight against all for one because everyone's struggling to take him down but i would like to see him go up against sugar rocky just to see a rematch between the two even though they didn't truly fight in the past but there was always some type of rift between them like the fact that he said like yo he's causing a lot of noise i'm gonna go kill him eventually like stain said that and then you got sugar rocky everything he became started because of Stain coming to uh, his organization. Well, not coming like to join, but like actually being meeting Stain. Everything started from that moment on. So I really want to see an interaction between those two characters and hopefully we get it in the upcoming chapters. But all in all, like I said, solid 10 out of 10. Curious to know if Hawk really lost his quirk or not, because it looks like he had it, but at one point he didn't have it. I don't know, man. It was kind of hard to tell. This is one of those ones where I wish it was in color so I could really see everything that was going on. But let me know your thoughts on the chapter as a whole. And if you like this video, make sure you thumb it up, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. Hoping that you have a great day and night wherever you are. This your boy, Nero Mega Man, signing out. Peace.